What's going on Fizz Nation? Welcome back to the channel for another fun and exciting review. Appreciate you stopping by again as always. Y'all, I am super excited with the timeline that we're currently living in. Because as of this recording, we are now less than a month away from March 10th of 2024, which is this year's Spring Forward. And if you know me for any amount of time, you know that I consider that to be a holiday because that is the beginning of longer daylight hours. And it's one step closer to spring, which is one of my favorite seasons of the year. Unfortunately, also as of the time of this recording, it's snowing outside. Pretty much my least favorite weather event. So you take the good with the bad. But either way, I'm excited and I'm in good spirits. And so what better way to celebrate that than with a good soft drink? Now, obviously, I don't know yet if this soft drink is going to be good. That's the purpose of this channel. But I've been looking forward to this one for a couple months now, because this week we're going to go ahead and try the first new original flavor of 2024. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is Canada Dry's newest fruit flavored offering called Canada Dry Fruit Splash. It markets itself as being made with a splash of real fruit juice, specifically cherry juice. Obviously not a lot of it because it says that it contains 1% juice on the back. It also says it's caffeine free, which I think is par for the course with ginger ale, which is exactly what it says it is on the label. It is cherry ginger ale. Now, if you've been watching the channel long enough, you know that last year Canada Dry came out with a special flavor called Black Cherry Wisniak which was not a ginger ale, it was just a cherry soda. A really good one, might I add. So good, in fact, that it won 2023's Surprise Flavor of the Year Award. Card is above my head in case you missed last year's Fizzy Awards. Now, I enjoyed that flavor a lot last year, and I hope they might bring it back someday. Now, that does not appear to be what they did with this. Instead, it looks like they've come out with a new flavor that is ginger ale with cherry flavor. Now, as I mentioned in the review for Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale, I've never really been much of a fan of ginger ale. It always felt like something you drink when you're sick. But seeing as we have a soft drink review channel to run here, I'm not gonna let that stop me. So you know what time it is, it's time to go ahead and get right into the content you guys are here to see. Let's go ahead and pop the top off of this bad boy and give it the old sniff test. See what it tells us. Hmm. Well, yeah, now I think I would say that this smells exactly like what they say it is. I'm smelling the ginger ale and underneath of it, I'm smelling some cherry flavor. And I can definitely tell that this is a ginger ale. I'm getting a little worried, Fizz Nation. It doesn't seem like there's enough cherry to offset the ginger ale. But as we know, the sniff test only gets us so far on this channel. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and grab our trusty glass with ice. We're going to go ahead and give it the old pour and see what else there is to find out about this. All right, so... As you can see, we don't have a, a very saturated color here. It's just a sort of light pink, light magenta. It's pretty translucent. I can see right through the glass. I think it's very similar in color to last week's review for Peach Knee High, card above my head. Maybe a little bit lighter though. All right, Fizz Nation, that's gonna be enough speculating for this episode. It's time to toss it back and see what it tastes like. Here's to you. Hmm, okay. Well, this flavor is a little bit more balanced than I thought it would be based on the sniff test. I can still taste the ginger ale. It's definitely present. And the presence of the cherry flavor is pretty much equal with that. I think I would probably say it's about 51% to 49% ginger ale and cherry flavor respectively for this. Now I'm noticing that familiar residue that's being left behind in my throat because of the presence of the high fructose corn syrup, which does make this a little bit less refreshing. But the flavor is not bad in it. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty decent balanced flavor. It certainly tastes a lot better than regular ginger ale as far as I'm concerned. But I don't know, it just, there's something missing here. Like the flavor overall is a bit mild. It doesn't have much of a bite to it. Like I can absolutely tell that it's a ginger ale, but less emphasis on the ginger flavor and more emphasis on a cherry flavor. But it almost feels like the flavors are competing against each other instead of complementing one another. As far as the flavor itself is concerned, I mean, it's, it's good, but it's almost a little bit confusing, if that makes any sense. Like, I wouldn't say that I dislike it, but I feel like it just doesn't quite settle in with itself like other flavors have in the past. Not sure how much sense that makes, but I'm also not sure how much sense this makes either. All right, so what do I think? I think overall, this is one of those flavors that doesn't quite understand what it wants to be. Like, it feels like there's almost a bit of a power struggle here. Like I said, the, the cherry flavor is not particularly complimentary to the ginger ale flavor. 
it's not by any means what I would call a bad flavor. Cause like I said, as far as balance goes, it's pretty much half and half cherry and ginger ale. Like, does this want to be a cherry soft drink or does it want to be a ginger ale? I feel like when it comes to ginger ale, you probably should pick a lane. Cause just about every time I have tried a flavored ginger ale, I feel like this is kind of almost always the result for me. Like. It's not as unlikable as a regular ginger ale for me, but it's also not as good as just like a regular cherry soda. Like what Canada Dry did last year with Black Cherry Wisniak, that was a stroke of genius. That was an incredible flavor. It was unique. It knew exactly what it wanted to be. And it was that exact thing. Just a very nice mature cherry flavor. It didn't have to compete with ginger. It didn't have to share a flavor profile with something else. It was a clear, concise flavor that knew exactly what it was. And it was a delight to the palate. Flavors like this, however, just feel kind of disjointed and unconvincing, if I if that's a word I can use. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give Canada Dry Fruit Splash three out of five sips. Really feel like Canada Dry just needs to pick a lane with these drinks. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for me, Fizz Nation. Thank you so much for checking out the channel again this week. We got a good handful of new flavors coming out the next couple of months. I know there are some new Coke flavors that are coming out that I cannot wait to get in front of this camera. And also those other flavors that you guys have been sending me lately, I'm working through them. I've got a plan on which ones I plan to review on this channel. So if you're looking forward to seeing those, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss notifications for any future videos. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps us out a lot. I'm going to get out of here. Go ahead and finish this up. You guys have an awesome week, and we will see you next time.